In this video, let's understand how to use collect and patch function for rich text editor. So I have this screen. In this screen, I have added this gallery and also two buttons here. So in this, if you want to work with any rich text editor, we can directly uh, in the insert tab, we can search with the rich text editor. So it we can add it directly in the screen. So here, for example, uh, in this record 1006. So if you go there, 1006 is a book, and this product overview is the rich text editor. So if you want to see, so here it is a multi line text with a format rich text. So if you see here, I have added this rich text editor. So what I will do, I will take a copy. Uh, I will just move it this in the update. So we will try to update. We will not create with a, with a new record uh, because we will just update to uh, this product overview column for the uh, 1006 ID. So if you want to update, just click on the button and in the select property to update uh, the existing record what i will do uh, i will use patch function so patch so the uh, the data source is uh, product and the record which we want to update is we can uh, use a lookup uh, here or else we can directly use gallery selected item so let me use lookup now so i will use lookup so in the lookup we need to provide the uh, products and so it will give the collection and it will have a this record dot so we have a product uh, id so for example uh, this is the product guid so in this case i will use the logical name of this product id so here I will take that and paste it here and equal to I will get the ID from gallery gallery uh, in our case it is a two dot selected dot the ID so in this one like we will get an item comma and from this we will get a single item always look up will give the single item for this item we want to update rich text so so i will take the logical name of the rich text so in the edit mode so i will take the logical name and inside this i will paste and so we know like how to so we want to take this name so go back to the the formula we are editing so here dot html text and we need to close this one let me save this changes and preview this one so i have selected the record 1006 so here i will write uh rich text editor so i will make text bold and click on update uh go back to the table let me refresh this data if you see the text is added i will take a copy and i will paste it so this one as a one one so i will change to new record so when i click on create button what i want to do is i will create a record using the collect in the products table so here we need to provide the item so item i am just providing the product name so product name i'm just hard coding the product name here uh, maybe it will be a, a test product 
product I am giving and the rich text which is coming from uh, this one so that is the rich text so you can use the product overview and here we need to provide the rich text uh, new record dot html so and we need to close the collect function so let me save this changes so can format it and let me preview now so here it is the record so whenever i type something so once i click on create it will create a new record so this is the item which we create test product if you refresh the data so the record which we created will be showing here so the record is this one test product and this is the content rich text can be used in form so whenever we add a new form it will not uh, come up with the rich text based on the data type for example uh, let me add a rectangle so i will place it over this So let me change this color to white. So on this top, I will add a form. So the form. So whenever we select the data type as a rich text, so it will not uh, add a defaultly rich text. So we need to change that rich text. So I place the form. So we'll remove the uh, the items which are not required. So now we have these two fields. One is product name and product overview. Uh, here I will make this to single column. So if you observe, this is the uh, rich text type data type we are using but it is giving a text area so how to change this means like this will be uh, the card will be locked mode so in the form we need to select that card and in the advanced property we need to unlock the change properties so that we can change the sum of the properties so if you see this is the data card uh, we need to change so here uh, we can increase the size first and inside this one we can ins insert a rich text editor so just click on this one and this will be placed so we need to place it correctly so let me expand it so after uh, editing this one just uh, take a name uh, copy and so if you see this one parent dot default and parent dot default so we need to update to default parent dot default so also uh, display mode we can change it so here just go to the display mode and whatever their parents uh, parent dot display mode just take the uh, same property and update here so after that try to delete this one and you will get some errors so just click on this uh, and edit the formula bar so in the formula bar it is showing the the card which we deleted so for that so just select this card and take the name and copy it and go to the edit bar 
so whatever the card we deleted we just place this one so there is a one more error just click on there and go to an edit mode and paste it so here it will be dot html text this is how we need to uh, replace the default text area with uh, rich text editor so let me save this changes and if you see we added a form so we need to submit the form so for that we need a button so just add a button just place it and change the text to submit so on click of this button we want to uh, submit the form you can write the submit form and form name here form name is form 2 so we can reset the form after submitting so let me save this changes so let me preview now so actually the form is in edit mode we didn't reset it let me go back select the form uh, select the form in the form like it is uh, default mode is edit so change it to new mode so then save and preview now so if you see the form is showing so give the name product name i am giving rich text in the product name rich text uh, here i am typing something so can make it bold normal heading to like this so i'm just submitting so it will create a new record so it is created a new record rich text so for uh, updating also like uh, in the form in the form we will be using submit form only it is same for both the create and update this is all about the dataverse rich text demo thank you